We're streaming and creaming. Streaming and creaming. What up? Let's get weird. It's your boy Tommy G here with the Friday edition of the Stay Cashing Show. A lot going on today. We got Howie Dewey coming on with some college football. We're going to recap the game last night. We're going into the college football games tonight, college football games Saturday, NFL games Sunday, UFC fights this weekend. You want it, you got it right here. And I think, Evan, we're giving away a couple giveaways too, huh? Yeah, we're doing uh, two free weeks, two four deep bets, two separate weeks, four deep bets. We need 250 concurrent viewers, and that hasn't been a problem the past couple weeks. And we need 125 likes. So if you're in here and you haven't liked the video and you want a chance to do this, like the video, I'll start the giveaway in a minute, and then all you do is type exclamation point free, no spaces. Exclamation point free. When you start it, you will let them know, right? I'll do it right now. All right, so we're going to start. We're going to do two raffles, and uh, the best way to get the most people in here and the most likes is to retweet the fucking tweets, guys. Send it to your fucking base. Go retweet the tweet from Stay Cash and Show and let them know so that their mothers also can make a shit ton of money like yours did last night. Bill Rupp, how you doing today, my friend? Good. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing very good, Bill. Thank you for asking. I appreciate the uh, follow-up. Did you do any streaming or creaming yesterday? We did not. Hulu and Biden, maxing and relaxing? Nope, none of the above. Well, actually, I did. How has HBO not made it maxing and relaxing for HBO Max? Yeah. Like, I, I, that's probably like a multi-million dollar idea. I might have to copyright that. I was doing Prime. So what's that? Prime in and... I don't know. I'm not. Prime I can't. Prime. My brain's not Prime, Prime yeah, I was, I was Prime. Amazon Priming with the NFL Thursday night. Priming and sliming. Priming and riding. Yeah, but we weren't slime. <laughs> Rackets, what up? What up, Tommy G? How you doing? Doing good, brother. Doing good. You ready for today? I am ready for today, for sure. All right. Then we are all ready. And Evan Hand, the best producer in the world. How you doing? Are you going to screw up the uh, free week thing when you do the raffle and have Night Ghost fucking cut all our throats or what? Probably, yeah. Whoever, and then put it all on you guys. Whoever wins. <laughs> DM me or Evan. That is it. <laughs> if you DM to anyone else, you will not get your win. Why don't you just make it DM Bill? Let's cut Evan out of the equation on He's this. DM Rup45 on Twitter. How about that? Just go to Rup45 and we'll shout out your handle, Bill, multiple times throughout the show to make sure everyone's there. Are your DMs open, Bill? They are. Okay, so if you win, DM Rupp45, and then Rupp can go check and make sure you're not fucking lying and that it's actually you. He'll probably put you through a quiz, a test, and then ask you uh, what your producer credentials are because he's been trying to replace Evan. <laughs> and uh, DM Rupp45, R-U-P-P-45, if you win the contest. Is that fair? Good. I think that's good. Evan, yesterday, I think we had a fucking call your mom, put your house on something bet yesterday. Did we not? You you did indeed. And I think we won it. You did indeed. Yeah, I'll, I'll play the video for you just so we can start start off the, the show with some good vibes. All right, good. But uh, what I really want you to do is I want you to call your mom and get a loan. I want you to tell her to empty out her retirement account. I want you to tell her to empty out every dollar that she has saved. And I want you to put it all on Mahomes' two touchdowns Herbert, two touchdowns, minus 125. Cool? Great. Tell her, so what's up? All right, Bill, what do you think of that? And that that uh, that hit with ease. Well, that hit, hit. now that we're talking about that, I went and I took that, and I made it a little bit better. Always got to fucking steal my thumb. Went and made it a little bit better. So, see, you would have got a nice little minus 122 from Tommy. Yeah, great. It cashed. Free bet. Remarkable. But if you were a member of 4dbets.com, you would have got Austin Eckler over 24 and a half receiving yards and Josh Palmer over 29 and a half receiving yards for a plus 200. So therefore, yes, your yeah. minus 125 would have looked out a lot better after a cash with the plus 200. See what I do, guys, is I take bets from everywhere and I make them better. That's what I do. <laughs> That's my fucking job in life. Bill is the Tabasco of the gambling world. He basically just takes it, you dump some Bill Rupp on it, and it just gets a little bit better. It gets spicy. And, it, and it's very spicy. Right, I told him I told him very I like spicy. Sometimes it burns. Sometimes <laughs> it makes I knew, you cry. 
brackets. I knew two college games. Have too much of it. I knew two college games that he was on this weekend, right? I knew it because I just knew that he was on these games. And then he's like, oh, where'd you get that? From this guy? And he, got, yeah. he thinks he knows everything about me. <laughs> you know shit. He doesn't I know anything about Rob. You and your mother. You don't know shit. I, I fucking know got about them. You. I could fucking read your mind. I'm inside your head, bro. Ouch, Jesus. I don't want you inside my head. That sounds fucking horrible. Anyway, yeah. So yesterday, uh, free bets on the show. Uh, that was the one that you should have loaded your house on. Obviously, it was pretty easy. Over one and a half each quarterback. Shouldn't have been minus 120. 125 whatever it was um uh what was it what else did i have yesterday uh gerald everett balled out uh, i think he had like fucking seven catches for 60 yards total was 39 and a half love that play should have had two or three touchdowns pretty much every touchdown the chargers scored gerald everett was wide open in the end zone and the play was designed for him except kansas city fell off but listen we tested it yesterday right yesterday was the one day we said they need to give us a high scoring game they need to give us a clean game. Mahomes balls out. Herbert balls out. Kelsey was the nuts. He was the most popular play on the board, Bill. And I told you before the game, this is the last time I am going to play them. And I made that term up. That's copyright Tommy J. Popular. Um, he was the most popular prop on the board. But how does he miss? Worst fucking team against the tight end last year. He's destroyed them three straight years. All of a sudden, fucking 16 other tight ends are catching 50-yard touchdowns. But fucking Mahomes can't find them, isn't throwing to them. And Kelsey falls short. Again, the most popular play on the board. And the odds boost failed yesterday, Bill. Which looked imp- – we didn't bet the odds boost because we're done with that's, – that's, we've already put that to bed. The odds boost yesterday was Kelsey and Herbert on FanDuel to both throw for 250 yards plus like 170 or something. Looked like the easiest shit in the world, and I said in the chat. One of them isn't going to do it. It's a certainty. It's a fact because they're just trapping people. And there you go. Patrick Mahomes, 235. Doesn't hit the 250. It's unbelievable. Well, we you did can't hit. touch those odd boosts, man. We did hit both teams to score a touchdown in each half. Uh, minus one. We should have hit the draw at the half. The fucking Andy Reid. Like, what was that, dude? Why every fucking primetime game, Rackets? Is there something that fucking – Makes no fucking sense in the world. A minute and fucking 40 seconds left. The Chargers are at the 50. First of all, we won't even talk about how fucking the Chargers all of a sudden, uh, King Brandon over there, their coach who loves to go for it all the time, is all of a sudden kicking field goals from the one on fourth and inches, is fucking not going for it on fourth down, punting on fourth and three. We won't even talk about that. But it's like fourth and three or fourth and four from the 50. There's a minute 40 left. And Reed lets them run the clock all the way down 40 seconds so that they get the ball with 48 seconds instead of a minute 40. What was that? It, it was you know, it, the same thing we saw with Denver the night before <laughs> yeah, on that... Monday night. Uh, what is this? The Chargers thing, too. I, I don't even want to skip over it because last year on fourth and two, he went for it every fucking time. It didn't matter every really where time. they were. Yeah, if they were if they were on their past their own forty yard line, they were going for it on fourth and two. They punted twice last night on fourth and two. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on this year. It's making the sport unwatchable, bro. Listen, I mean, I went, literally, I we went spent the whole it. game before you, before you before you go, Bill. We spent the whole game saying everyone in the world is expecting this game to be the over. They got to try and keep this thing under. And if you look at the fucking two minute drill, if you look at the fucking Brandon Staley, all of a sudden not being aggressive. I mean, outside of that pick six for Kansas City, that game goes way under. Like, that pick six probably had everyone going, oh, shit, what happened? But and fa- so FanDuel long. had that uh, the sweat-free SGP last night, and I didn't even look at the odds boost. I just altered down uh, Herbert's passing yards and Mahomes' passing yards down to 250. I didn't even see the boost. I put the fucking bet in. Yeah. Uh, I altered I alted Kelsey down to 50. I got that by one yard, and I didn't cash it because of fucking Mahomes' 15 yards, bro. Yeah, I was dude. almost breaking shit in my basement last night. It's traps, traps. I, I, I'm actually happy, Bill, because I needed la- – because last night was the game we had a reason, right? Amazon Prime debut. They just raped everyone on multiple primetime games. That seemed like the reason where I right, – if they're going to give people something, they're going to give it to them on this game. Now I'm actually happy. Now I'm good going forward on these primetimes. I'm just straight playing the weird shit. Not that's it. Well, Even the touchdowns lost, were awful. I only lost one bet yesterday. Yeah, it was Juju's over. Uh, I thought he was going to do good. He did. I did. I did great yesterday. I ticked under first half. 
Um, I just had a strange feeling this game was going under. Um, so I took the under first half. Um, the shortest touchdown cashed first out first time out of three. Should have cashed two of them already because that battle game, two inside the one, didn't didn't score. So two fumbles, yeah. One and three so far. I'll take that. And uh yeah, one touchdown, then my parlay. Um, I did great. Yeah. It was, uh, I mean, listen, it should have had a great day. I mean, if, if you would have told me Kelsey was the thing that was going to fuck me, I'd have said, okay, I'm going to take that on the chin. But outside of Kelsey, you know, the other players I was on for props were the touchdowns by each quarterback, that hit, Everett hit. And, uh, you know, it was pretty much all right there. Even the Everett touchdown plus 250 it was a great bet. He had three three opportunities in the red zone. Um, was perfect. I'll take that every day. I'll take that opportunity. It was only Kelsey. Those are literally the only things that killed me yesterday. So uh and that DraftKings so, that DraftKings boost was awesome. Um both team either team to win by seven, they both covered. So no matter yeah. what side you took, um, I was going to take uh Kansas City, but then I flipped last second because uh Trevor was saying, Oh, it's you know, the money, and I was like, All right, I'll put a little bit less money on it, but I'll take them for it and it cashed. So plus yeah. one seventy. Uh yeah, it's great that drafting thing, and they're doing it Sunday, guys. Definitely get in on that, everybody. Yeah, it's every ten day. points on Sunday. And it's I every you, game, right, Rackets? It's every game on Sunday, but it's ten points. It's not seven. Yeah, but you can only uh, do it once, uh, right? Or not? No, it's for. I think you can do it as many times for but it's the, 10, the games. It's ten instead of seven. You can yeah. do both sides. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. And uh, the other thing too, guys, in the chat, contribute in the chat. Evan will keep his eye on the chat for any questions you guys have. Kick in if anything seems like it should be a show worthy or make the show. I see a couple of people talking about the uh, Chiefs running so few plays. Yeah, it was just weird, man. Mahomes threw the ball right to the other team. Like Mahomes threw three interceptions that all got called back, and, and they were all right directly to the other team. Very weird game. Just just looked very odd. Didn't look right. Things were strange. But uh, again, who gives a shit? We're moved past it. We survived it. Um, that's all that matters. And every every week we're learning now that. Uh, those primetime games are crazier than we thought. The delay was terrible. I mean, the delay was fucking horrible. Uh, dude, me and Bill on Amazon Prime. Our TVs are always synced up. Our ESPN Plus is three, four seconds off. Bill, my Amazon Prime was 30 seconds behind yours. That was awful, bro. 30 seconds. Two plays. I mean, it was insane. And all of our other streaming services are the same. It, it, I don't know what the fuck was going and on. And I do, like mine, I got to give it to them. Amazon, they were right step with it on FanDuel. They were right behind them. So... They did a good job. I don't know yeah, if that's just, mine was so delayed. just for the first game or whatever, uh, but the commercials. Oh, my God. Listen, I took some edibles last night. So did I. I, was, I went out early. And uh, I'm sitting there with Tommy. I'm like, I'm on, like, TikTok. I'm paying attention. I'm fucking. And two-minute warning commercial was so long. I'm like, Tommy, is it, is it halftime? I'm like, what's going on? The commercial, she's like, I don't know. The phone was fast. My phone was fast when I did it on the phone. But for some reason, I don't know if it's multiple TVs or multiple things going on. Maybe you got to close all the windows, but whatever it was, it was annoying. Um, anyway, so any headlines we need to touch on real quick, E, before we get into more football stuff? Um, I mean, we only have one, but it's not really that big, is that uh, Trey Lance was spotted in a strip club after they lost uh, on Sunday. <laughs> which people seem to care about and skip bayless went ape shit on him so i one. mean so no no what so no what so what do you want him to do no so why because you have a responsibility you Dude. are no longer no 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 let me stay mine and then you could respond there's you have a responsibility you are not just a football player the amount of money these guys are getting paid right now and the amount of spotlight and the amount of money they will get paid even if they're not yet you have a responsibility to your city, your team, your franchise, social media. You don't have a responsibility to be a fucking role model. But you have a responsibility to not hurt ratings, hurt fans, hurt all that. The last thing a San Francisco 49er fan wants to see after an embarrassing loss, a putrid performance, is their quarterback going out and getting fucking dry humped by a hooker. Like, at least pretend you give a fuck. Pretend you're pissed off. Just don't be seen in public. You're a fucking millionaire, dude. If I could fucking have chicks at my house for the last 30 years and no one knows, you could fucking have a penthouse where you invite a few strippers over and a few teammates and keep it fucking quiet. Collect all the phones at the front of the door. Bill, these guys have enough money 
to do whatever the fuck they want in private. If you're going out to a strip club after a loss, you deserve whatever bad heat comes on you. Because for me personally, I don't give a fuck what these guys do. But if I'm a big San Francisco fan, I don't want to know that my rookie quarterback who just had a my young quarterback who just had a shitty game cares that little that he's going out and getting fucking hummers from hookers. I want to at least believe that it's possible that he's upset. I'm with Tommy on this one, 100%. I don't even like when they swap jerseys after the game. I want my guys walking off pissed. I mean, we tell them to shut up and dribble, right? And now that they're not doing that, now, I mean. Well, because I don't want them talking about social justice shit. Because right, he's, so he's so a 22 year old kid. Is that a good a look? Fucking strip club. Is that a good look, bro? You could stream and cream in private. Yeah, but you you can't get the fucking streaming touching in private. Why you? You're a millionaire. You don't have to do anything in public. You could call the fucking whole cheerleading squad over to your fucking mansion. No, the reason they don't do that, Tommy, is because of what's happening with fucking. Deshaun. Fucking massage, massage Paul. Guess it, what? In your fucking house, you got cameras everywhere. Yeah, but you don't know who to trust. But I'm, you don't trust anyone in a strip club. A stripper is the person I you call trust the, the most. Your house. The most you trust because they're, that's, what they do for a, that's what they do for a living. Call them to your house. No. Ragged. I don't. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, I have an issue with it because it's his first fucking start, and he just got his ass kicked, played like shit, and now he's, and he's just not a fucking seven million dollar backup. So what do you want him to do? Rackets go home and Raggett. fucking play Nintendo? No, pretend uh, study the playbook a little bit, maybe. Dude, I don't let know. me let me ask okay, you. Okay, well, what happens if they said afterwards you went home and played Nintendo? No one would say that. No one would know. They just would know he went home. No, no, they knew because he was in a fucking... And people wouldn't be have a problem with it. He was in a chat room with fucking... Uh, uh, with somebody, some other idiot playing some fucking war No game. one would have a problem with it. For as bad as they looked, uh, he should not be at the strip club. Strip right clubs that. are what you do to celebrate. You yeah, shouldn't I agree. be celebrating the most embarrassing loss of the team's fucking history, losing to Justin Fields. Listen, I don't <laughs> give a fuck if we won or lost. Titties... Are titties and they're nice. <laughs> Win or lose, a titty is a titty. Bill, you make a valid point there. You make a valid point. Titties are titties, and you know what? That is good. By the way, I'm sorry, guys. I fucking we, they happened before, and the game started at two o'clock. I do have a play on the Cubs minus one thirty-two. Uh, they are up one nothing now. They just scored. I got to put this game on. Um, they did just score, so you're probably going to be out of range for it. So I guess you should have signed up for four deep bets to get the better line. Uh, they're minus two sixty now. So if you want to keep your eye on it, if that game gets back to tied, maybe you could jump it. But uh, we are on the Cubs minus 132. It's one nothing right now. And I don't know what my other remote is. I'm lost. Uh, any other headlines here before we get to some more bets? Uh, just the fact that it took you guys six minutes to get to 100 likes, and there's other times where it takes us the entire show to get to 100 likes. Where is this every show? Well, I mean, hey, listen, don't listen, Evan. I'd like we like we're criticizing Trey Lance. Don't condemn positive improvements compliment them reward them tell yeah, them how great. great they did by getting to 121 you know don't punish them for them being fucking trash babies for like six months but great job guys awesome bravo we love you you know what do one of the giveaways right now for me Bad. let's reward them maybe we'll do three we'll reward do three. reward good behavior all right let's see we'll who it's gonna be it's gonna be him right. him eat him he hit him yet. What? Him, him what? yet. <laughs> <laughs> Bill's what? <laughs> Where is it? Can you spell it? Can you give us something here? H I M M Y H E T. Himmy, Himmy head. Himmy head. Himmy head. Go DM Bill Rupp, Rupp45 on Twitter. He'll make a list. He'll make sure to get you your free subscription. Himmy hat. Himmy hat. Congratulations. You are the winner of a free week. And uh, you'll win a lot of money this week. So uh, you basically just won who knows how much money, but a lot. Um, and the giveaway is still going. So if you still want to enter. Giveaway is still going, babies. I'm just rewarding you for good behavior. As, as any um, good Tommy, know. what do you think about uh, Herbert last night and his injury? Uh, I, I think it was real. I think it was legit. I think he No, fought. I know it's real. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to cost him time. I think it might. Yeah. I mean, it, you never know what a rib was a rib, right? Yeah. I couldn't tell it was a rib or his leg. He was grabbing both. Ribs. You know? And my gummy was already in full effect once Kelsey had 
three for How 50 did he go five. scrambling on that third down, throw the ball like a foot into the ground, and then gone fourth and one, throw Next a 40 play. yard fucking Next dime. play, guns <laughs> it 40 yards down for a touchdown. Um, I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? I thought he was dead after the third down play, and all of a sudden he throws a 40 yard fucking dime. I mean, I guess it's the way you turn your body because he was, he could have easily ran for that first down. But he, I guess he felt the pain so much. He's like, fuck this. You know, I don't know. Faction Jack. Body's weird. The body's weird. Faction Jack. The body is weird. Body is sep stripper bodies, right, Bill? Then those are not weird. And you should go check those out after losses. Yeah. You know so guess what? Trey Lance right now, and the reason just to finish that off, he probably just cost himself millions of dollars. In the long run, this will be a negative mark on him. He lost some fans. He lost some opportunity, maybe even lose some potential sponsorship. I'm telling you, these little things add up over time. Antonio Brown wasn't always not a great if he player. turns out to be good. Uh, yeah, exactly. Now he's got to be great because now if he's Garoppolo ish, he's losing fans. He's losing media. Not good. Dude, Derek Look at Jimmy. Jeter. He's like, all I did was fuck a porn star. This dude's yeah. at the strip club. Dude, be Derek Jeter. <laughs> did, anybody <laughs> actually, did anybody really think this guy was going to be good anyway, Trey Lance? Yeah, I thought he could. He fucking I mean, came from fucking, uh, was it North Like Dakota? the same type of school that Josh Allen came from? Yeah, he did. Yeah, and how many of those are you going to get? Well, you just got one three years ago. So. Exactly. And ain't going to happen again. Everyone's looking for the next Josh Allen. And guess what? You ain't finding it. Well, well Bill Rupp says there will never be another Josh Allen. No, not no. not in our lifetime. All right. Great. Josh Over. Allen stopped his first year and a half. But okay. Great. Um, so let's go on now. Let's talk a little college football. Let's bring in Howie Dewey. We're going to do some college football right now. I got some banger bets. Uh, I know Howie's got some banger bets. I think we're on the same side of one of them. Then we're going to do a quick MLB. And then we're going to hammer NFL for about 15, 20 minutes with some bets uh, right before the UFC. So don't go nowhere. Howie motherfucking Dewey, how are you fucking doing? What's going on, man? Just sitting here watching the stock market. Everything's down except for Evan's favorite uh, store, Dollar General. <laughs> uh, it's the only thing up today. I think on our town we had one in every corner. They're good for property values. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Bill knows that. Bill, you like the Dollar General for property value? No. No, Bill doesn't. All right, so Howie's going to have to school Bill on some of this shit. How yeah. we doing? We got – so let's do this. <clears throat> got some big games tomorrow. I got my little fucking list over here of magic picks. Um, me and you are on one of the same things at least tonight. So let's start there. There's three games tonight. Most of you may be looking and seeing two. There's a magical third game coming from the nerds playing Mamaramac that uh, you will see. Harvard laying four tutties against Mamaramac. We'll touch on that for a second too. But the main two games tonight, Dewey, FSU on the road against Louisville, laying two and a half in most spots. Maybe it's a three in certain spots. Harvard obviously laying four touchdowns. And then we have Wyoming getting 17 against Air Force. Start me with FSU tonight, and then we'll talk about some games tomorrow too. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting number, two and a half. Uh, you know, Louisville came back. They they laid a goose uh, egg against Syracuse opening game, came back last week, looked pretty decent. Uh, and now they got to play against Florida State, who we saw beat LSU on national champ, uh, TV. I like mm -hmm. Florida State tonight. They got all those transfers. That quarterback is solid. This coach looks, for the first time in a long time, this coach looks like he's into it down there and ready to turn, turn that program around. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and look how much talent is in that state. So I, I just, I like them tonight. Yeah, I see a minus 140 laying around there in a couple spots. I'm sure you're taking the two and a half minus 110. Uh, yeah, I'm taking a minus 140. I'll lay the wood on that. I don't mind a two and a half either, obviously. But um, let's go down. I'm with you on FSU, too. I think they're a better team. I love their quarterback. Yeah. Um, I'm still low on Louisville. Me and you were off Louisville the first week. Um, they did better last week. I still don't think they're that good. So no. not, a, not a great spot on the road on national TV. Usually a dangerous dog spot. But uh, I'm going I'm going FSU with you here, too. So let's let's. Uh, Double up on the Knowles. What about Air Force at Wyoming here? This line Man. is still 17 in spots. It's it's dropping a little bit with 17 and a half. Opened at 16 and a half, shot up to 17 and a half. It's now floating around that 17 range. What are we thinking? I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this could be a high score game. Uh <laughs> I'm looking at it. The over is six and zero oh in Air Force's last last six games. So the last six games has gone over. Uh, Wyoming, the overs 4 0 in the Cowboys' last four games following a, uh, against a spread loss. I just, 
I don't see how this game doesn't go over. Um, uh, I don't think the over under is that high. Forty six and a half college game. Yeah. You're going to see some. You know these these teams. Air Force runs that triple option, but they force a lot of turnovers with that defense. Uh, I think the game's going over. That's the play. I don't hate the over. I, I'm actually staying off the over under, and I'm just taking the points at Wyoming. I think Wyoming's going to be able to do enough here. Um, I, I think this is uh, obviously Wyoming's not great, right? Like they're not a great team. You just can't get the way I bet college football, dude. Prime time game is almost like a ranked team versus an unranked team. It's a big spot. Yeah. This this is Wyoming Super Bowl, right? They're going to be on fucking national TV. They get the data themselves. I, I think they're jacked up for this game. This is going to be a spot. Well, they'll do enough to hang in it. I, I don't think they're going to win. Maybe we throw a little sprinkle. I think they're definitely the inferior team. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about here is that, yeah, Air Force goes fucking wild and throws up a 40 spot on them. But uh, yeah. it could happen. It could happen. But I'm just going to stick to my system. Wyoming's 2-1 and one so far, home game here on uh, CBS Sports Network at 8 p.m. I'm going to take Wyoming with the 17. Solid. All right. Uh, any any inter- I wanted to bet Harvard tonight. Um, I just can't find anything under 28. I'm trying to find a 27 and a half. I guess we could take the 28. I th- Harvard's far superior. Is it even worth it there to play this? When did Merrimack go Division One like last I year? <laughs> I mean, I think in college, I think they were in our conference. Um, <laughs> I thought they were up the street from my house. I don't even. Oh no, yeah, they, they used to. That, that was their big rivalry was I think Mercyhurst out in Erie, Pennsylvania. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't. I don't even. I didn't. First of all, when did they get football? I, dude, I know them in basketball. That's all yeah. I know. So I when thought, I saw Harvard Mer- 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 Merrimack, um, the first thing I thought was, oh, let's see how Harvard's been doing. And this is Harvard's first game. That's crazy. And they got a good team. So they've had all this time to prepare for Merrimack. Like, yeah, I, I mean, this is just a prep game for the big Yale Harvard uh, right. game. Yeah. I so, mean, I don't know. I, I, that's a tough one to handicap. I I really didn't even know Mer- Merrimack had football. <laughs> I didn't either. So that's on there. So if you want to really degen the fuck out, 7 p.m., um, I don't think you can tease it. I don't think you can do anything with it. You're not going to find an alt line. You won't even find a logo on the betting site next to their name. But yeah. uh, I think Harvard goes out and fucking shit stomps them today. Uh, just because I thought Merrimack only had a basketball team. So. But you know what, Merrimack, you don't know. That might be one of those teams. They started football three years ago, and they probably got like a bunch of ex- you know, NFL practice squad guys that changed their names. <laughs> they got 36 year old offensive tackles, you know, went out the night before, drank a case of beer, smoked Hanging some out with Trey Lance with strippers. Yeah. They're just going to go out and put it to these cucking, uh, to these uh, brain surgeons. Get it to the fucking nerds. Uh, <laughs> Howie Dewey loves the fucking, uh, the movie themes. So, uh, yeah, so oh, yeah. Good, good movie. Let's get to Saturday, brother. We got some big games on the board here for Saturday. Uh, I got a couple of plays I want. Uh, really, I, I don't think, I mean, you got BYU at Oregon, two top 25 teams. But if really, if you look at the slate, I mean, there's not, there's the Miami, Texas A&M, I guess. But there really is no, like, juggernaut, juggernaut playing each other this week. Uh, how how you breaking this down? What game are you excited for? I'll tell you, the, you know, I, it, I'm going to start with the game that I love the most. Um, I think the game to make money on is university of florida playing the worst florida team south florida uh i said for week one you can't bet on south florida that's basically a fucking like that's where all the long island lacrosse players you can't go any, anywhere else they go down there just to set up a good weed distributing business and, <laughs> and play a lot tired down there yeah yeah <laughs> and just bang senior citizens you know when they have a, <laughs> after a rough night that's all you do in south university of south florida Dude, University of Florida, this quarterback, what did you see the numbers he puts up Saturday? Yeah. He's going to put up five, six touchdown pass numbers. And I think they're going to run up 50, 60 points on South Florida. Um, I, the funny thing is how he's been fucking nails with Florida. So week one, you loved Florida, called the whole game on our Discord, play-by-play, knew when they were coming back, when they were going to score, nailed it. Then the next week, you fucking heel turned, and yeah. you took the points with Kentucky – yeah. against them and did that and now you're back on the florida train i mean i'm all in for florida here i'm gonna have them in my 13 point teasers the thing i'm really targeting and i'm glad you said what you said i want the florida team total i don't know if it's out anywhere um i haven't seen it yet it'll be out by tomorrow but i'm gonna be on the florida team total on this one uh for sure so i love that same side there 
Uh, yeah, they're going to oh. take off that frustration from last week. I mean, like I said, they played a good Kentucky team. That's a Kentucky's no joke. Um, Kentucky's a team that could give Alabama a game. Uh, and, you know, they played them. That was a good game. They lost at home. I think they come out and just take it, take it out on uh, poor South Florida. So I got here. I got Florida over 41 and a half. Wow, that's high. Uh, you like that? Yeah, I, I think they're in the 50s. Okay. All right. So Florida over 41 and a half. I'm going to take that one. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get a 40 and a half by kickoff somewhere. Uh, my game that I love is Auburn. Uh, yeah. Penn State's been a team that you're on the same side. Yeah. Yeah. I love Auburn in this spot. I think this is just such a, such an easy bet. We're getting fucking four points with Auburn in this spot. I'm going to take the money line on this for sure. So I'm going to take the plus 140 on Auburn. Uh, and I'm going to take the spread. I mean, listen, Clifford is just not good. Uh, well, it's just not, not good. And Auburn's quarterback, in my opinion, he's better than uh, the uh, guy that went to Oregon. Um, uh, what's his face? Uh, the fucking uh, Bo Nix. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like this kid better. I think Auburn comes out. You're basically betting SEC versus Big Ten, and it's a no-brainer. You're at home. That place is going to be packed. Uh, I think they went out right. Yeah, I like it. We're getting three and a half on FanDuel right now. I didn't think the number would get that high. So I'm going to hit both of these. I'm taking the plus three and a half on Auburn. And I'm taking the money line on Auburn here, plus 130. So I'm going to take both of those uh, in this game. Looks like Howie agrees. What else you like here, Howie? Give one more. I'll give one more. And then we'll save the rest for the subscribers. I uh, uh, Noon game tomorrow. Uh, can you bet that Georgia will score 40 points in the first quarter? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> because last year, uh, I remember, I think the line was like 28. And I think they were up 28 or 35 to nothing in the first quarter. It was – and look, man, this Georgia team is – it's all business. It's all business. With I'll me. give you one better, Howie. You could bet Georgia over 40 and a half points for the game. That's uh, that's pretty solid. <laughs> that's pretty solid. That's probably first half. Nah. They're going to go up to South Carolina and just put it on those – I mean, it's, this is going to be a beatdown. So what do, you, what do you like better? Do you like taking the 40 and a half team total or do you like laying the, the 25 or whatever it is? Either or. Either or. I mean – South Carolina's not going to score on Georgia's D. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I, think that. I mean, last year, what, they have five first-round draft picks, their defense, and this uh, year they look better. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, uh, you know. 51-10. Yeah, 51-10, 48-7, somewhere around there. I'll tell you what, Bill Rupp's got a bet on this. Bill Rupp, South Carolina team total 14 and a half. I'm sure you're going under. You know it. Anything mm-hmm. under 10. Yeah, anything. Yep, 14 and a half for South Carolina against Georgia. You could pencil Bill Rupp in for the team total. They, can't, they, they don't let up over 10 points. Yeah. It's crazy. They don't. It's And they haven't for a couple of years now. It's it's wild. Yeah. Yeah, I, I bet they get that 40 and a half total. I love that bet by halftime. And yeah. then the second half, they cruise. They get maybe one, one or two more touchdowns in the second half because they, you know, but they're going to, yeah, they kill them in the first halves and then they, they cruise and that's it. See, the problem with Georgia is when they pull that first string out, the second and third string, they're all draft picks too. Well, it's mm-hmm. like, they're, yeah. not scru- they're not scrubs. It's like you can't tell the who's better, the first string defensive end or the third string. They're yeah. right about the same. It's like Alabama with receivers. One yeah. goes down, the next one steps right up, and he's an NFL player too. So. It's just factory out there. Bill, do you have a college football bet you want to give out? Uh, no. I was on the two that you were on. All right, so you're going to do the South Carolina under 14 and a half, though? Put that on there? Yeah, I love that. Throw it out on the board. Uh, No one I like here, Dewey, and this is a team who uh, fucking didn't do us well uh, to start the season here, is Oregon in this spot. I mean, this seems like – this line seems weird. This just seems like a complete trap. You got the number 12 team in the country, BYU, going out to the number 25 team in the country. BYU is coming off a couple impressive wins. Oregon's laying fucking three here in this one. Uh, it's even up to four in some spots. Three and a half seems to be consensus. Uh, I think I like Oregon here. Bo Nix is not a guy that you're going to trust in many big spots, but this is the type of talent yeah. that Bo Nix will thrive on, right? A guy who's been playing in the SEC, just yeah. got fucking shit stomped by the SEC. Yeah. When you give a guy like Bo Nix, and fe- he's like those, uh, like those 3.8 ERA pitchers, right? They dominate the Pirates and the Nationals and then the fucking Dodgers and the Astros smack the shit out of him. I think that's who Bo Nix is. So I think they come out here and they might shit stomp BYU. Yeah. I think his best performance 
that we're going to see of the year so far, probably build back some height, keep them in the top 20. Um, yeah, I like high scoring game. Hey, be, before we leave, can we at least, can we at least make a bet? Does Notre Dame go 0 and 3? I do believe so. Hold on. Yes. That was actually, you know, what's funny. That was one of my biggest bets earlier in the week. And I'm glad you just said that. Yeah. We talked about that on Monday's show. And that is probably me and yours. What? Favorite bet of the week. Cal. I, the double I, digits. I mean, I think Cal probably comes in and beats them. Cal's getting 12. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I got a friend here, young kid. He played linebacker at Cal and graduated like eight years ago. Yeah, he thinks he thinks they're good this year. They actually have a decent team. I'm going to go hit this money line too. So we're both going to be on Cal plus 12. And I see a 350 on Bet Rivers. And then we're going to sprinkle the 350 too. So California plus 350. Uh, yes, I do think Notre Dame goes 0-3. I think they're fucking dog shit. Uh, as said by last week. And then uh, anything else on the way out the door here, Dewey? Uh, you know, basically, you know, that, that covered it. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, love this bet. Georgia Southern does not cover this week. Wow. They get stopped. That league is tough. They're coming off a win against Nebraska, and now they have to go to Alabama-Birmingham. Uh, getting 12 and a half, I think it's a letdown. I think they probably lose by a few touchdowns. I like Birmingham against Georgia Southern. And that's the game last week where I thought they would beat Nebraska. Where you hit the, where they did beat Nebraska, you hit the plus 1400 on air. Yeah, I think they probably get stopped this week. This would be a big letdown week. My favorite thing about you, Howie, you're not one of these cucks that fucking falls in love with a team, wins money off them, and bets them next week. You actually heel turn on the teams that won you the money. Which yeah. is how you got to do it in college football. Very rare yeah. for teams to have good back-to-back -back weeks <clears throat> if they're shitty teams. No, absolutely not. So, oh, here, here's the here's the game I got to ask you about because this blows my mind. This this one is making my head spin. Nebraska opens up and loses to Northwestern, and then they get beat by Georgia Southern, and then they fire their coach. Why are they only a ten point five underdog at home against Oklahoma, ranked sixth in the country? Yeah, it does seem weird. That That's smells. Weird. I mean, I'm on, on that. They're listed on my list. They're listed. I have Nebraska plus 11. I have a couple of bets I'm saving for the subs. Uh, that is one of them. Nebraska plus 11. Isn't that I, a strange? That's a strange. Like, wouldn't you think Oklahoma would be minus 28? There's a couple. There's a couple weird lines on there, but that is one of them. And uh, the Western Michigan line's a little weird. Georgia Tech line's a little weird. Yeah. Uh, a couple. A couple lines that that smell funny on that. So I'm with you on that. But uh, all right, Dewey, let me let you get out of here. I know Rackett's got to run and pick up the kids. I want to get his his bets before we uh, before we jet off and head over to the NFL. All right, guys, let's bank. All right, good job, brother. Talk to you later. Rackett, how much time you got? No, I got the show today, dude. Uh, with Kim, Peyton didn't go to school today. He was sick. Uh, all right, perfect. Okay, we're great. good. We're good. Right. So let's do this real quick. We're going to get into the NFL bets now. Let's run through some baseball bets real quick. Bang through this five minutes. Um, I have a couple bets that I like in MLB, but Rackets, let's start with you. What are you liking in the baseball today? Uh, I'm going to start with the Orioles. Um, I don't know if I get to the window pregame with them, but I do like them plus 135 with Lyles. I don't think uh, Toronto's announced a starter yet. So um, depending on what they what they do, if it's a bullpen game, uh, I like the Orioles a little bit more. Okay. Uh, what else do you like? Um, I don't really have too much in baseball tonight. Um I like the Yankees a little bit at minus 120, but again, Montas is – that guy's Jekyll and Hyde, man, and you don't know what version you're going to get, so i probably wait for live on that, but the Yankees are back on my okay list. Ah, welcome back, boys. Bill, are they back on your list too? Nope. Not, I didn't say on my bet list. I said they're on my okay list. Ah, they're not on my shit list anymore. Yeah, okay. What I do know is that I've gotten three DMs so far. One person wanted to say hello. One person wants – uh, loves Evan, but wants his job. And okay. wow. the, one guy who, the one guy who won the turn. Won the All right, well, at least the guy who won fucking DMG, yeah. yeah. So. All right. Somebody All right. loves Evan and is trying to take his job. Wants I, love, I mean, if that, is, if that isn't 2020 millennial uh, talk track, I don't know <laughs> what is. I love Evan. Give me his job. Think about that. Like, that's the new millennial way right now. You're still good in my book, Evan. Yeah, like I love you, Evan. I hope you're unemployed. <laughs> That's what that guy just said. I hope you lose all your jobs. I want them all. 
He's probably don't tell him what your other jobs are. He's fucking gonna go over there and tell him he's your best friend. And steal it too. What's garbage people? Yeah. Fucking garbage people. Bill, what do you like for baseball before we get to the NFL? Uh, Mets, Seattle, parlay. Okay, I like Mets that. Are playing Mets are playing Pittsburgh with sucks. Hey, Galati's, Galati's parades. Don't make fun of them. Mets need to get this win. Um, it's gonna add the Astros in there too, but Astros near four hundred or whatever they are is ridiculous. So obviously you're not doing that. But Mets, Seattle, both teams need to win. Uh, both teams should win. Pitching matchups, like it all. Uh, plus 127. Mets, Seattle, right there. Play of the day. All right. Uh, I'm going to co-sign Rackets on the Yankees. I do like the Yankees minus 120 there. I'm going to co-sign. Actually, I'm not going to co-sign Bill on Seattle. It's my team. Uh, I'm going to take Seattle minus 158. Oh, really? Oh, no. Let me guess. It's yours now. Yeah, it took him four months Fucking to bet him once. Bet him for four and a half months. <laughs> oh, I like the first bet on Seattle in four and a half months. I like the pitching matchups. Yeah, okay. You just realize you're fucking wrong. Uh, mm-hmm. Seattle, my team. It's like saying that, that fuck Bill Rupp. Tommy get Tommy <laughs> Tommy got to pick a team as his team that made the playoffs. Later. No, I got to pick the team last right. year when they were. Right, well, you don't you don't get to read. Yes, I do. Rackets no, gets to run back the no, Orioles. You don't. Every year. All right, you know what? I I love the Dodgers. The Dodgers are my team. Now. I called it. No, you got to get them when they're shit. I called it. You got the Royals. I called What's it. Fucking team. You got the Royals. It. You got the fucking Royals. Oh, I got dumb. the Nationals as the worst team in baseball. Congratulations, you predicted the worst team yeah. in baseball. Now predict a good team. Yeah. Actually, he remembered he liked the Tigers too at the beginning yeah. of the year. I the the team. Royals. I've had the Mets the whole season. We'll give you the whole they weren't going to make the playoffs. We'll give you the whole AL Central. You said they weren't going to make the playoffs. No, fuck it. They're not going to win the division. Oh, and a matter of you owe me about $2,500. So 2100 I think you should just keep it quiet over there. 2100 Yeah. It goes to like it'll 12 be, It'll be like three grand by the end of this month. Yeah, it'll be like twelve grand when Biden doesn't die by the end of the year. Oh, so you're so about. stupid. You make the worst that's hey <laughs> I'm a good host he just added 10 grand onto it so i don't give a fuck take it all take it all uh mariners minus 155 i like the yankees minus 122 too uh let's get to the giveaway we're we doing another giveaway right now or are we waiting uh we can do another one we'll reward the people do another one now reward the people all right here we go pick another winner kevin and hobbs eight calvin and hobbs eight Calvin oh, Hobbs. Hobbs eight. Eight. oh I recognize that name. Let's go, yeah. dude. He's already uh he was he was he used to be with us. All right, yeah, so we'll give him sure. a four deep credit in his account. So uh just DM Bill Rupp and he'll figure it out. We'll do another raffle before the show ends, but now it is time to get to the week two NFL bets. Uh we have nothing going on tonight, nothing going on Saturday. So we'll be talking about Sunday's games. And uh let's get to it here, boys. Uh as the uh you know, champion, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, I'm in first in the picks pool. I don't know if I mentioned that the last few shows. Oh, and I'm f- I'm in first in the DFS contest. I didn't want to be ended. I'm the worst at, but I'm the guy best. has no idea. Rackets the difference between DFS and seasonal. But I'm the best. Not DFS. It's a seasonal league. But I am the best, whatever it's called. You went one and zero in your seasonal. All league. right, but am I winning? Stop saying DFS. DFS. Am I winning? DFS takes skill. Do I have the best team? <laughs> no, you're second to both. I have the most points in the league. No, you don't. Vote yes, passed I you. do. Vote passed you. I'm the best. <laughs> it's not DFS, you fucking idiot. Watching him have a stroke is amazing. Rackets, how many times are you going to call seasonal DFS? I don't know, but I love it every single time. Don't fucking I'm stupid. Sorry. I'm sorry I don't have stupid big checks all around my room. <laughs> beating, beating the other hundred idiots who played that shit 20 years ago. I was in the New York Post. Yeah, you and you and a hundred other morons battling each other. And it was all rigged back then. Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> Sitting all on right, a jag. Go up, go up. Well, who's your favorite seasonal fantasy play for the week? <laughs> Worry about who my fucking pay. I'm not telling you shit. All right, give me, give me an NFL bet, you bum. Uh, coup. Over one and a half field goals. Plus right, 135. Why don't you tell people what team he's on? Why don't you tell people what? I mean, wh- maybe if you let well, me... there's new viewers every day. Maybe I'm the if you let me finish you. talking, God. Go. I never get to finish. Because you fucking pivot. Coup over one and a half field goals. Plus 135. Again, I'm giving you guys a plus money play. It's going to hit. 
before halftime. Oh, he's on the Falcons. He's the best kicker in the league. Coo, coo, coo. I coo, can't coo, have Jersey up there today because Jenna came down here, ripped everything apart, and until she puts coo it, Jersey, until she no, that's over there. Until she puts that back, it's staying like that. <laughs> you punishing? You like punishing her by? She's got to put the covers back the way they were. Your dog makes her bed. Oh, she makes it. Wow. Can we can we see that live on air one day? No, she doesn't like to show anyone. All right, fine. All right. So you're like uh, Young Ho Koo, kicker for the Atlanta Falcons. Yes. It's plus money again. <laughs> yes. How is it plus money? Dude? How is it plus fucking money? The guy's been hitting his prop for fucking three years, and he kicked six field goals last week. Listen, I love it. It's the best. I'm taking it again. And uh, I'll give you another one that's fucking great. Cooper Cup, my man. The guy who go at night goes, wrote off. Rid him off. No, no, no. <laughs> Not good anymore. Uh, Bet365, who I don't like, has them at seven, has him at seven and a half again. Everywhere else is eight and a half. It'll be nine and a half next week, ten and a half. Guys, this is free fucking money. Seven and a half, Cooper Cup, minus 145. So they gave you a plus 135, a minus 145. That are both locks. So I don't know what. Put it in right now. I mean, that is stupid. Cooper it's, Cup is stupid at 135, at, uh, at seven and a half. It's a stupid, stupid number. Stupid. It and is. Koo is stupid at plus money. It is. It's Koo is ridiculous. I'm going to give you three bets on the same fucking player because, like Cooper Cups is retarded, and like Young Ho Koo's is retarded. Here's another fucking retarded bet that when you win this, if you didn't, first of all, sign up, you fucking losers. It's $37 for seven days, you bums. But it, these numbers are wrong, all right? Last week, I told you Amron, Amron St. Brown, uh, his number was stupid. Five and a half catches and fucking 58 and a half yards. It was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. The dude had zero drops last year. He had three last week. Three drops last week and still smashed his number. All right, he should have had 10 for 100. I'm going to hit this three different times. I'm on Ross St. Brown over 63 and a half receiving yards. I'm on Ross St. Brown over five and a half receptions minus 155. I'm on Ross St. Brown over six and a half receptions plus 110. And just for fucking shits and giggles, let's take I'm on Ross St. Brown to score a touchdown too, since he does that all the fucking time, plus 115. You wheel the fucking board on St. Brown. Bet his alts. Bet him 100 in a touch. Bet him all over the fucking board. I'm on Ross St. Brown versus the Washington Redskins. Do it at home. Get it. He'll probably have five catches by the half. If not, he balls out in the second half every game. Go fucking smash him every angle, Rackets. Uh, I think you were. I th he was my favorite play in the uh, DFS, my research last night. So I fucking let's love go, Tommy G. I'm on. I'm, I'm going to go bat shit. Um, I'll give you. I'll give you guys a uh, another retarded number two, Jonathan Taylor, ninety nine and a half yards, every Take, week. Uh, every week, minus one fifteen. Uh, this every week, it's a hundred yards every fucking week. It's a hundred yards pretty much by the third quarter every fucking week. Just do it, Bill. Another bet. I mean, you want me to give out two? Oh, you yeah. put out twelve on Sunday. Give me two. Free fucking free free bets all around the fucking all around the world. I mean, that's what we do here. Uh, I got one. I got a free teaser for you guys. We got, Bill, I, by I, the way, I, Evan, I got, we got a the team. 250 and we got the 150. Boop, 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 boop. I got a teaser here, uh, seven-point teaser. Bengals, Redskins, Dolphinians. Mm, let me see this. Let, let oh, me see, like Miami. Me look eight and a half, eight and a half, and Bengals down to minus 0. 0.5. By the way, we have our NFL roundtable show tonight. Uh, myself, Joey Rackets. Brian Healy, DFS superstar, not seasonal superstar, DFS superstar, and Mike Constantino uh, on there tonight. So make sure you get signed up. We go through every single game, break down every single play from a DFS and betting perspective, subscribers only. Uh, get there, sign up for the Discord, get in there tonight. Uh, Bill, did you have another bet? Did you give one or no? Uh, so what did you – my other bet was what you said – what did you say about the Tampa Bay Saints game? No, that's mine. You don't even go near that game. What do you mean? Don't even fucking go near it. That's I'm mine. on it. I, I don't give a fuck what you're on because I told you to what you're on it. I've been betting yeah, it for well, three years, you fucking 
well, copyright well, infringing set, motherfucker. Well then, set, well, then I'm setting you up. What's All your right. bet? Well, I am going to give you. We gave you Amran C. Amran Rasay Brown. I told you yesterday to go fucking call your mom and take out a fucking mortgage and take out a loan and put it on Mahomes one and a half touchdowns, Herbert one and a half touchdowns. That one, because I'm the best. And I wouldn't fuck your mother over, but I would fuck your mother. <laughs> I'm going to tell you to call your mother again. Get me her phone number. I'll speak to her directly. You're going to take all that money you won. Leave the original retirement. Put that back. Right? We're not going to keep doubling. Take that money you won, double retirement account, and put it on the New Orleans Saints. We're not going to take the two and a half points because we don't need two and a half points. We're going to put it right on the money line, plus 130. Saints money line, plus 130. And if you want to get fun, take a little bit out of the fucking uh, underwear drawer where she hides a little fucking stack of money and sprinkle a little bit on the minus five and a half, plus 215. The Saints beat the Bucks this week. Again, easy money. Lock it in. Talk to you soon, Mom. All right. I got one. Yeah. Um, Seattle is getting nine in San Francisco. Uh, apparently their shitty quarterback is going to the strip club. So I do like the nine. I will have that in a teaser, but I'm also laying money on the plus 325 for Seattle to win that game. Mm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Bill's going plus the money. All right. Let's bring on Constantino. So I'm give a player to and then get to the UFC picks for the day. And then we will do the final raffle and giveaway. No show does this. No shows. This is the best show on the planet. Every other show sucks. We're the best. Let's see. If, let's see if Constantino can come in clean as a whistle. If right? you guys can get that round table popping tonight. Oh, uh, it'll be popping. What's going on, Ev? Is he not around? We're, we're waiting for him. All right. Constantino forgot it was Friday. <laughs> that was last week when he tried to, t- tried to give his title away. That's why. He's getting I, jinked. I guarantee you he's going to come in and say, I didn't give him a heads up, but it's 3 o'clock. I did give a heads up. I sent a brief thing to the whole group. <laughs> I just texted him. <laughs> All right. We'll do the other giveaway now while we wait. All right, boys. Boys and girls. Last giveaway. We're going to close the entries. And big winner. Jordan Hanna. Two first names. Jordan Hanna. You just won. Never trust him. You just Jordan won. Hanna. All in. Giveaway. All in. At Rup45. DM me. All right. Here's Mike. And we got him. Constantino is with us. Let's see. There he is. Hi, Michael. Fucking dolts. I'm here. Yeah. I'm in the chat. Well, that, that's We can't bring you in from the chat. I know. I was waiting for to be summoned by our producer, Evan, but I got a weird message. <laughs> Some kid just emailed me and said he wants to be our new producer. Yeah, I, mean, he, I think he's going to be our unique new UFC guy if you don't start coming in on time. I told him to call Cohen and he'll do the interview for him. You know, Cohen, Cohen, fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you got any? Uh, you got a football player too for this weekend, or I do, but I'm hot off a road rage incident. Um, yeah, all right. What happened there? We'll talk well, about you that. drive 20 miles an hour. I mean, oh, no, I all the road rage you're gonna piss off everybody in the fucking town i had my blinker on and the guy didn't let me in because it was an arrow to merge and as the guy like jams up so i can't get in the windows are down and i look and i go you don't see the fucking blinker and some little fucking diminutive midget in the front seat was like i'm like you fucking midget it was a big deal big deal here on bloomfield ave tommy right by you bloomfield ave Awesome. Yes, I do. I actually, I have a football game that I really like. Um, I'm only, you know, I'll, t- I'll touch on it, but we're going to get more into it tonight. Let me see if it's one of the games that I cover. Hold on. I, I got to tell you, I like the Detroit Lions here, man. The Detroit Lions. Um, we have Washington played the game of their life with Car- Carson Wentz last week, home game, non-division opponent. Now they got to go on the road to play another non-division opponent prior to getting back-to-backs with the Eagles and Cowboys in their division. Um, I love the spot for Detroit, who played very good last week. I had Philly, and I watched the whole game. Detroit moved the ball and scored. Love the head coach. Love the passion. Love they don't have to travel. And I think it's a good spot for them. I think the line's fair, and I think Detroit wins this game. Okay. I don't hate that. I don't hate that at all um let me see and you're gonna save your you're gonna save your special teaser for the subscribers i assume 
Well, I'm going to save everything for the round table. And obviously the subscribers were hot as a firecracker, you know, here during the September spectacular undefeated, um, having a monster September thus far. And we're going to keep it going. I feel good about the slate this week, both uh, UFC and NFL. All right. Awesome. Let's get to the UFC. What do you like on the uh, UFC card this week coming off? Talk to me a little bit about what you thought about last week's uh, UFC performance. That card was uh, a little bit crazy, but uh, what'd you think? Well, I think it was great because we crushed it. We crushed Contender Series on Tuesday night. We crushed NFL Thursday, Sunday. I mean, like I said, September Spectacular, we're hot. I love the card. Um, we had some good spots. We had some good wins. Um, even Tuesday night, we had an inside the distance plus 250 on a fight. I feel like I'm seeing the ball. I don't want to jinx it, but um, do like some spots on the card tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to give a couple things right here for everybody. Um, starting off with a fight that initially I was actually with my father and you love, you know, to hear when we match up or oppose on a fight and we were just running down the card before I looked at the lines and a fight stuck out to me. And I said to him, well, what's the line on this fight? And then he told me it's my guy that I loved is an underdog. And I was like, wait a second. Like, I don't know. I just don't see it. I, I love in this spot as an underdog, RoboCop, Gregory Rodriguez, somebody that we've bet on multiple times. You can get him at plus 105 on DraftKings, plus 105 on MGM. And he's fighting uh, uh, Chidi and Jokawai, and Jokawani rather, who has been off to a scorching hot UFC start. You know, uh, three victories, three knockdowns, one against each opponent. And on paper, Rodriguez has been knocked out twice. But at the end of the day, he's a very high level, you know, black belt grappler, and he has a lot of power in his hands. Um, I, I think he gets the takedown and submits in Jokowani here. It's actually um, a, a sell high, you know, point for me here. I mean, I, I'm shocked that the line is the way it is. And if Robocop is to lose, it's because he gets knocked out cold. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take a bet on Rodriguez plus 105. And then we're going to also have a parlay with that fight to go inside the distance, which would act as a double down slash semi hedge. So if Rodriguez finishes inside the distance, which is his most likely path to victory, then we have an open parlay. And if he gets finished, we'll cover our loss on Rodriguez with the parlay. And the other side of that is our boy, man, Joe Pfeiffer out of Philly. Joe Pfeiffer, in my opinion, is getting a layup of a setup fight that is great. And we watched him, Tommy, win the first contender series week one. He was the only one that got the contract. Dana fell in love with him, gave a speech for the ages and said, be like Joe fucking Pfeiffer. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Then we were going to get him on the show. And then we look and he's front row at that Saturday's UFC. And again, I know these people. I know how they operate. Dana fell in love with him. He flew him out, him and his girl. They love him. They gave him a fucking softball layup against arguably the worst fighter on the UFC roster. Alan Amadovsky is 0-3 in his three UFC fights. By all rights, should have been cut. Maybe he was, and they brought him back to give him to, to uh, Pfeiffer. But to put it in perspective, this guy has three UFC fights, one of which went the distance. And he's only landed nine punches, nine strikes and three fights, including one that went three rounds. Um, the other two, he was knocked out in 17 seconds and a minute and four seconds. I think Pfeiffer either knocks him out or immediately takes him down and finishes him. So I, I like Pfeiffer here in the spot. Even inside the distance was minus 250. But for the sake of the parlay, we took Pfeiffer inside the distance. And then the earlier fight, Rodriguez and Jokowani fight to end inside the distance. And that was minus 104. So those right. are the free plays. I have a lot, lot more. All right. What do you think of the card as a whole? Do you think this is a good card following the uh, – usually after the big UFC cards? Um, I mean, it's a 14-fight card, way too many girl fights. Um, I'm actually going to be passing on a bunch of these fights, and, you know, I was running through them, and I'm not even going to waste my time writing up some of these fights that I clearly am not going to have a bet on, and I'm going to provide a little more football content, you know, for the weekend as well. But I do like the spots that I like. And I'm very selective with the card. Like I said, I mean, one, two, three, four girl fights. I mean, you know, I mean can tonight. you put Andre Touchy Feely on a card with all these girls? That doesn't seem like a good <laughs> move. Well, fight. our boy on the other side there is Billy Algio, who's a late notice replacement. And that's going to be a fun fight. That's actually one of the best fights on the card and one that I'm really I like Algio. I love Algio. I like Algio. Sandhagen fight. Uh, I like Sandhagen in that one. I, think I so. like Sandhagen there. My father was originally on Yang Saddam Yang, Song Yadong, until I kind of talked. Yang Song. 
But um, yeah, I like Sandhagen there. Yeah. What else do you recognize we could chat about? No, nah, we'll talk about that for the subscribers. We're giving too much for free on here. Is anybody know. here not subbed yet? I mean, at our special? I mean, it's ridiculous if you're not. We're all fucking hot. Football is here. Get and it. We are raising the prices, by the way. We have a meeting on Monday to raise all the prices. <clears throat> so if you are getting in, get in ASAP at the cheapest prices. $37 gets you seven days. You can come fuck around for a week, feel it out. But you've already felt it out here on the show. And then uh, you could still get in right now. Uh, for the rest of the football season at a retarded price. I mean, especially with the new price hikes. Just right now, you're talking 50% off still. But you could basically get the rest of the entire season for DFS and gambling for 397 or 297 Takes you all the way till mid-January. Uh, we're going to be up in the weekly. The monthly is already 100 a month and probably bringing that higher too. So uh, we'll Get in for the roundtable show tonight, if anything. I mean, you heard me touted it last week and uh, I'll do it again. I mean, tonight's going to be our second week. You know, we have a little data in now. I have a good feel for the teams. Um, I think we nailed a whole bunch of plays last yeah, week. Yeah, no, it was great. So went on off. the roundtable show. So definitely sign up now. Take advantage before the prices go up and get in the show tonight. I promise everybody here you're going to love it. It's one of yep. the best in the industry. Yeah. So, uh, all right, Mikey, final words before I let you go. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't really think about it. Final words is thank you to Bill, you and Bill for the cheese. Week one, I win. Uh, Bill, good job in DFS this week. All right. Thank you. Season long. Yeah. And I also noticed a little rift between Rackets and Bill. Rackets yeah. is uh, agreeing and siding with Tommy on a lot of things. Well, I mean, it's, we got to talk about that. We'll talk about it later on. That was your final words. All right, Mike, get out of here. The, uh, that was the, uh, the big thing. ashen motherfuckers. Oh no, that <laughs> Christ, make your own thing up. You've had three years. Make a fucking wall line. Make a line. Bill, how hard is it to get a tagline? I was waiting for something you like that. You're doing my middle finger thing now. <laughs> Look at him trying to create some beef too. For Mike. This dude's trying to create some fucking beef too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting beef with you two, stealing my tagline. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Back is there beef with you and Bill? Nah. Nah. Bill's the Bill's the peanut butter to my jelly. Yeah. And no one eats, <laughs> no one eats peanut butter and jelly anymore, so that makes sense. What? I have a five year old. Yes, I fucking do. Well, you have children. You eat fucking nothing but fucking pizza bagels and peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Dude, I have that same sweatshirt I was wearing before. Uh Bill, you still eat peanut butter and jelly too? Uh I eat the um crustables ones from uh -huh. 7 Eleven. No, yeah. so he's even more of a child. He doesn't get the crust on it. Oh, yeah. my God. No crust? The, you never had a crustable? I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. It's the inside of the bread, dude. The, the crust is gone. They're already made for you. Why would you get it without the crust? The crust is the best part. I don't know. What? He just said the crust. Whoever eats the crust is a psycho killer. What? Agreed. Yeah. Are you fucking insane? You don't eat the crust of the bread? You eat the, the crust, crust is the worst part. No, it is not. You are a psycho killer. Do you, you eat the crust in your pizza? No. What a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I mean, that's different. That's different unless than it's, bread. Unless, it's, unless it's soft. If Dude, it's who soft, leaves any it. food on the table? Whatever well, it is. Like the, the fat on the, the steak. The well, crust obviously, the bread, the crust obviously the pizza, if they made... I'm a fucking man. If they made something called Uncrustable, obviously a lot of people don't like the shitty crust. Yeah, there's a lot of gay people out there that don't like fucking crust. Here we Real go men. Again. Here eat we go crust. Again, Tommy fucking homophobic bro please please, please let <laughs> us know in the chat fucking get past this leave the fucking gay people alone <laughs> sorry God. so much bill there might be gay people watching of course there are we love them i don't say i don't love them i'm still gonna suck call some gay on you're gay and women you hate women too i don't hate women i just think they're annoying they got titties yeah, they do but outside of that they're annoying Listen, I'm just honest. I'm just honest. Rackets, you don't eat the crust either? Uh, I don't eat the crust of my pizza, but that's because I give it to my dog. I eat the crust God, of my peanut butter jelly sandwich. Fucking losers. I eat the crust of my sandwiches. Dude, if I ever sat down with you to eat something and you left the crust, I swear to God, I'd backhand you. Well, if, if I'm, I'm eating like a man. Down, if we're ever if, in, sitting down together and eating like a Wonder <laughs> Bread butter and jelly, <laughs> something's weird. <laughs> Just hanging out at Tommy's, fucking eating peanut butter and yeah. jellies and watching well, UFC. Who's got the next Wonder Bread sandwich on the plate? I mean, dude, guys, here's what men do. They eat everything on the plate. That's it. Rackets, final words. Uh, no rough and rackets at 530 today.
What? <laughs> no. no. I thought you had a new uh, schedule. No. We do. It's not That's Friday, bad. though. Yeah, what is it? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I mean, what a weird schedule. All right. Why Tuesday? What's Tuesday? Because we're not on here. Oh. So why Thursday? Not- I'm here. Yeah, but do, what else? We, it's game day. So why don't you game do? Day. Why don't you do Rupp and Raggets Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we do Thursday, Friday here? No, oh, no, we did Wednesday. Wednesday's no good. Who knows no. when Muppets we can't right. work every day of the week, Tommy G? What are you Who knows to? when the exactly. Muppets? Who knows when the Muppets Ruppets is? I don't know. <laughs> Bill, final words. Tommy wants us everyone else to work for the whole week. <laughs> um, fucking work, dude. Evan, work for their fucking 25 screaming minutes and show about or whatever, whatever the doing. you fucking talked about that I'm on <laughs> with them every day. Tommy, let's do you and me. You and All me. right, let's do it. We'll do it. Fucking uh, Handy G show. That's what we'll do. The Handy I'm, G. Listen, guys, uh, listen, I'm going to give them uh, a shot. Join 4dbets.com. Let me know what you think about the round table tonight. Uh, what improvements need to be made. And listen, if it's not up to my par, I'll be challenging them live on Twitter. I think you should. I think you should. I think you should be live in the chat. Let's we'll see. I'll have my own show. I'll recruit, recruit everybody. I am not homophobic, you fucking idiots in the chat. <laughs> I'm more gay friends than all of you. Oh, you you are. two are fucking my favorite subscribers, fucking black and gay, and came up to visit me, and I would hang out with them. With me. Everyone fucking knows this. Gay means fucking soft. There's two different meanings. Nope. You fucking weirdos. I pissed off a balcony with a tranny. What have you done, you fucking cucks? People living out in fucking Orange County, never seen a fucking black person or a gay person or a person who's went to jail in your life. I am. Uh, I'm interested about this uh, balcony tranny. Yeah, dude, I told that story in the chat. Dude, I was hanging out with fucking drag queens before you guys even knew what they fucking were. I was in a rave scene, dude. Stop it. That's why I can say gay whenever I want. Because he is. He's gotten fucked before. I am not gay. I've never been fucked. <laughs> Those are you lies. Have. You have. Those are lies. Those are lies. Well, I'm telling you, I, bro, I've been around. You know how cool could be Listen. like cold or popular? Well, gay could be like, I like dick or I'm fucking. I never loved. I never loved leaving New Jersey. I used to hang out in the city. Back then, and I went to those fucking weirdo clubs, and one club I'm sitting there, and all the village people were there, and one of those village people wanted to fuck me. So <laughs> ever since that day, I have fucked that shit. There's so what, you afraid of the gays, Bill? Yeah, then you walk into afraid that other the gays? Fucking, walk into that other club. Man of the people's afraid, afraid of the gays? Room. Fuck that. Nope. Man of the people's afraid of the gays? Oh, I know. Listen, of- I know. I know they, everybody has their position in life. You do what you want. You ain't coming after me, though. That's wow, that. Coming after you. Wow. wow. Everybody loves me. Everybody loves me, everybody loves home me home. Tommy. The gays, the girls, the the Asians. <laughs> everyone. <laughs> the gays, <laughs> girls, Asians. They all love me. Like Asians are their own sub-world. Gays, girls, and Asians. The haters. We have to. We have to get off. <laughs> All right, let's get, get off before of we get banned from YouTube. Evan, final words. Uh, Stay Cash is a very accepting community, and we. The views and the few points of Tommy G do not condone his. We <laughs> love, <laughs> all we love, love Bill Ruff. And we love the Asians. Bill Ruff loves them all. <laughs> you're not, but you're not getting in the pants. <laughs> okay, for real, for real though, you guys. Absolutely killed it today. This show was probably the biggest show of all time. We better get to like 1,500 views. Uh, second thing, we gave out 31 fucking bets today. So if the tw- if you want to share the love and share it with Twitter people, I just put up a tweet. Uh, ask yeah, retweet, retweet the shit. Say thank you when it wins, you pieces of fucking human trash. 31 we give out 31 bets. bets. We fucking win and you fucking don't say anything. Say thank you. And, we like uh, the gays. We like the girls. We like the Asians. We don't like people that get free bets and don't say thank you. What a fucking show. And everyone's like, well, why don't you? Well, are we allowed to talk shit when they lose? You always talk shit when they lose. They talk shit when we win. We always get that. That's why we want the other side. All right. For Joey Rackets, for Evan Hand, Howie Dewey, Mike Constantino, and Bill Rupp, who hates the gays, hates the girls. No, no, no. Loves them. I am Tommy G. I am loved by the wall. Take motherfuckers. Let's go!